Today we're going to make this from this. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and we are going to make an electroformed leaf. I've been doing this for many years, and electroformed leaves still amaze me. If this is your first time, please see my other videos on how to check your solution and to test plate for a leaf. This video builds on those other two videos, and if followed, you will get perfect leaves every time. Let's get started. Straighten the length of 0.8 mm wire. Form an eye pin. Cut the end to a sharp point. Add glue and insert into the leaf's center vein. After the glue cures, add conductive paint around the joint and let dry. Or just by eye pins. Cover entire leaf with conductive paint. Shake paint often. Make sure to get edges. If using water-based conductive paint, seal the leaf first and let it dry thoroughly. Measurement is very important in electroforming. The measurement is directly related to the current setting, and the proper current setting is what will determine if you get a good electroformed finish. Measuring organics and 3D objects is not easy. The next technique will be good if you are new at this. Trace and cut out a leaf in paper. Cut the paper leaf into squares and reassemble them into a rectangle. Measure the rectangle. Length time width equals area. Area times two, front and back, equal the total square inches. Multiply the two measurements. Take that number and multiply it by two. That's your surface area. As you get more experienced, you can just measure the leaf directly. You want your anode to cathode ratio to be between one, one, and two, one, which just means that you want your anode to be between one to two times the size of your leaf. This anode here is a flattened piece of pipe for anode to cathode ratio demonstration. So a good anode size for this leaf will be between 9 and 18 square inches. Using an anode that is too large will oversaturate your electroform solution with copper. This round pipe is approximately 9 square inches and that's what I'll be using for this leaf. I also have a video on choosing the best type of anode. Oh, and you should always bag your anode. Now for the current setting. A good starting point for setting your current is 0.1 amps per square inch. Since our leaf is about 9 square inches, the current setting should end up being 0.9 amps. But, when electroforming something that is covered in conductive paint, we need to start at a much lower current. Otherwise, it will not plate properly, or even at all in some cases. With this leaf, we're going to start at 0.1 amps, and over 1 to 2 hours, slowly raise the current to 0.9 amps. And then at the end, bump it up to about 1 amp. We set the current at 0.1 amps and the leaf is now ready to go into the electroforming bath. Make sure that the leaf and the eye pin are fully submersed. Aside from the leaf tip in the first shot, the leaf is fully submersed throughout this electroforming tutorial video. Due to the camera angle, some shots will look like the leaf or eye pin is not fully submersed, but it is. The leaf may float at first. Some electroforming artists weigh the leaf down using fishing line and glass or weights. a very rigid hang wire. My preference is to wait for the copper to build up and weigh the piece down naturally during the process. That said, some items such as wood may need to be weighed down. We are starting off with a low current and as you see the copper plating spread, you are going to increase the current slowly until it is almost completely covering the leaf and then raise the current to 0.9 amps. At first it will be slow, but after about 10 to 20% coverage, the electroforming process will speed up. If you start out at a current setting that's too high, you will see bubbles at the hang wire and a dark brown powdery deposit. This will never plate properly. So lower your electroform current setting. If this happens, you may need to take the piece out, brush away the powder, and inspect the paint before proceeding. If you start out slightly too high and your paint is not perfect in every area, you may get initial plating, but it may stall and it will build up the existing copper layer without spreading further. Now we are going to monitor the process and make adjustments along the way. At 10 minutes, we already have some coverage. I'm going to raise the current in the electroform solution to 0.2 amps, and then check it again in about 20 to 30 minutes. We are at the 30 to 40 minute mark and we have a lot of copper plating on the leaf. It's looking really good. If you are using one anode without any agitation in your electroform bath, you may notice uneven plating. To remedy this, you can change the leaf position every time you check it. Let's increase the amperage in the electroform bath to 0.5 and check the electroform leaf in about an hour. All of our projects use this electroform recipe along with Lustro Electro Super Bright Brightener. Coverage looked really good at about 95%. Unfortunately, the footage was too dark to show. Luckily, it looked exactly like this leaf. Now I'm going to bring the power supply amperage up to the target of, of 0.9 amps and check again in an hour. Okay, same leaf model. At the two hour mark, things look good but not great. So a little bit of troubleshooting here. The edges are bright, but the center is dull. This is usually because the current is too low. As the piece grows, so too does the surface area. So I will increase the power supply current setting to one amp and check again in a few hours. We are now at the six hour mark. When we last checked, the edges were bright, but the center was dull. I increased the amperage and now the opposite happened. Bright center, dull edge. A little more troubleshooting here. This was caused by the brightener running low. I added two drops of Lustro Electro Super Bright Brightener per liter to the bath 
for a total of six drops. I'm now going to let this plate in the Electroform solution overnight. We're at the 15 hour mark. The Electroform leaf is now finished. It is really bright and we have excellent detail. I did some checks along the way, but nothing noteworthy, except that I raised the Electroform current setting to 1.1 amps. I'll do this toward the end of the process to get the Electroformed plating a little brighter and it adds some texture to the plating. The dull leaf edge is now bright and shiny. By doing periodic checks, small adjustments, and adding brightener along the way, we achieved excellent results. The perfect electroformed finish. Leaves are only the beginning. There are so many things you could do with electroform. Here are some examples of my work. A stick, a feather, crystals, gemstone earrings, dragon earrings, coin reproductions, statement rings, coffee beans, boho necklace, garden courts, unicorns, skulls, 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 skulls. vintage plastic Japanese demon heads. See you in the next video and keep on plating and creating. Vintage Japanese plastic demon heads.